What's up guys, this is Sunny and today I got here AT&T Galaxy S4 and I'm gonna enable T-Mobile HSP Plus. So I'm gonna I'm gonna flash um the T-Mobile band QCM file in it so I could have T-Mobile HSP Plus. So I could basically turn this AT&T Galaxy S4 into a T-Mobile Galaxy S4. I'll get Edge, 3G, HSP Plus and LTE. So I'm gonna show you this new method because the old method it doesn't work. Um it old method does work. It's just the comment doesn't work. Like the, this, that was the old method. Like uh, star pound seven two eight two eight. Uh, sorry, eight four pound, and that doesn't work anymore. So um, you're gonna use the new comment, and I'll uh, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, first thing first, what you need to do is install some software to, in your computer and one APK file to your phone. So first thing what you do is, uh, I'll, sh I'll leave the link below. First thing what you do is um, install this APK file to your phone. Go to your my file, all file, right here. You see that phone utility right here? You need to install that. Okay. First thing you install this, I already have, but what you do is just click install and it will install real quick. Okay, so after you finish installing, you'll give you a lot of things here. Just keep installing. Let me show you guys. Okay, install. Okay, so I already have installed to so install quick, but make sure first thing you install is the phone utility. Okay, after that, you get out from here, go to your computer. And then you need to install right here. Zoom in a little bit. Okay. Then you need to install QPST. You need to let, let me zoom in so you guys can see clear. Okay. Then you need to install QPST right here. Uh, you need to install the 337 AWS and APK file will be installed in your phone. Okay, after you do all that, go to your phone. Sorry, camera a little shaky. Go to the, your phone, dial star pound 0808 pound. There we go. And then I already have it on the DM. Okay, don't choose none of these R N D I S R M N E T because with the new software update, uh, it's kind of changed. So go to DM plus modem and ADP. Click OK. Now connect your phone to USB to your computer. Okay, we are good. Now you can put your phone down. Now we'll open QPST. Before you open QPST, make sure go to uh, your my computer right here. Right click. Sorry, let me move it a little bit. My computer. Right click. Go to properties. Go to device manager. And make sure you have you have this Samsung mobile port okay I need to look like that and make sure you have a Samsung uh, Android phone a Samsung uh, like a driver install you know if you don't see that uh, if you don't see this just go install a Samsung driver universal driver okay once you have that you go open QPST go to port click on the port now go add new Okay, add new, unclick that, the first one, okay, if it shows no phone, this is no good, where it shows no phone, we need to have a zero there, that's mean connected, right, so the first one didn't work, let's go to the second one, second one didn't work, okay, no problem, go back again, click, Perfect. Now you can see zero there, right? So that's mean we are good. The phone com is connected. Okay. Now we could um, go to start silence. 
software download uh, let me see if I could get it a little clear I can't sorry okay now first thing what you need to do is back uh, back up your uh, stock QPS for AT&T right so uh, click on backup and then start no, no. click on backup and uh, browse the file you want to backup so browse where you want to backup your file desktop that's why normally I do it and then I'll just put like GS4 QCN okay okay and make sure you start and it will take some time and this thing will save it you need to save this in case anything happen and your AT&T LT and stuff doesn't work when you put your AT&T sim or in my case everything works fine there's no problem but you know if you are a little iffy make sure you have a backup so if you see anything wrong what you could do normally just go to restore right here restore and just back back uh, your AT&T QCN file back if you're not using a T-Mobile anymore if you're using a um, simple mobile or any other carrier that doesn't support uh, LTE then you need to have this what we are doing here right now you need to flush the T-Mobile uh, AWS so you could open the T-Mobile band so you could use it okay as you can see right here memory backup is complete okay now we go to restore now we're gonna restore the file uh, the one you downloaded I show you guys before uh, let me see okay I have it here okay this file right here 337 AWS, uh, AWS QCN file. Now this is the file which is going to open uh, the band uh, for the T-Mobile HSPA Plus. So open that as you can see it's open here. In case make sure go first thing go to the browse and make sure you choose the zero OK and then we just press start. It's gonna take some time it's gonna uh, restore the uh, the file uh, for the T-Mobile okay after it's finished I'll show you the phone will reboot by itself okay as you can see right here phone rebooting wait until it says uh, actually right here as you can see right here it says memory restore complete okay you don't have to do nothing anymore the phone will restore by itself when you boot back up you put your t-mobile sim card and you're good to go you will have your edge obviously 3g hspf plus is gonna work and lt will work make sure if you don't see your lt working make sure you go to the mobile setting apn setting and make sure you put a uh, network name t-mobile and the apn fast.tmobile.com it should be good put your t-mobile sim and you're good to go i don't have a t-mobile sim here so i can show you guys but um it's guarantee is gonna work because uh, i'm gonna get t-mobile service uh, the new family plans kind of cheap so i'll get like four line for a hundred dollar so with this method it's gonna work as you can see right here i have a t sim in there my lt and everything working fine so nothing will get messed up you're not gonna mess up your phone this method will work if you follow if you follow the steps I show you this method will definitely work and make sure you get your phone unlock um, call your carrier or third party and get your phone unlocked because for this method your at t Galaxy S4 has to be unlocked thanks guys thank you for watching my video and please don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time thanks